up, Talking Fight fans? Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Knuckle Up featuring Mike Orr and Cedric Ben in the den. Happy Female Friday, everybody. And do we have a good one for you today coming from a long lineage of boxers all the way down to her grandfather. And we're talking about Makaya. Sorry. Sorry. Great. I, I got to pronounce it right. It's it's Mika Krebs, not Makaya. It's, it's either Mika or Makaya. Krebs. It is Krebs, though. I know that much. I'm, I'm not good at the pronunciation here, but let me tell you about this girl who is now signed with uh, Debella Entertainment. She's 3-0 and in her professional career, two KOs. She's a bantam weight, so 118 pounds. She's only 25, uh, 5'3". She's managed by Jerry uh, Cesares, and you know what? She's ranked 7 out of 16 right now in the United States and 83 out of 160 in the world, and she's coming off a fight against Kendra Bradley back in uh, the 13th, like a month ago, man. Uh, literally just over a month ago, guys. Last month on the 13th, 2022. Uh, this girl is Niagara Falls, New York native. And wow, let's let's talk about her, Cedric. Let's break her down, man. Uh, she's got uh, some Niagara, Niagara Falls native. Uh, that's, you know, right by the Niagara, Canadian Niagara Falls border too. So I'm assuming she probably got a few amateur fights and uh you know fights in general pro maybe some pro fights in niagara falls too um, yeah her, her, la- her last one yes oh was it her last one was in canada her last one was actually her last one her last fight was actually her home pro debut uh she mm. fought at uh seneca niagara resort and casino in niagara falls and uh she won that by a tko in the fourth round and it was uh, scheduled for six two minute rounds in that bout and uh that was her third fight man uh, she's, you know, knocked out two of her opponents, gone the distance once. And honestly, she comes from a long lineage of boxers, man. Uh, I like watching this girl in the ring, man. She's very calm, very calm. Uh, you know, really, really takes time to place her shots, but uh, can definitely smell, smell that blood, man, like a shark. And when she does, she gets right in there on the inside and wreaks havoc on that body and uh, just is relentless with the punching. Yeah, she likes to stay, yeah, she likes to mix it up. She likes to stay on the inside. It's like she wants to uh, um, own. She wants to own the center of the ring. Uh, wants to own that real estate, as they stay. And if, you come, <laughs> yeah. if you come inside of her her house, she's fighting you to get out. So um, definitely has a, has a pro style, um, yeah. crowd pleasing pro style. She's definitely not going to be, as they say, running anywhere. She's going to be standing right in front of you. Oh, as she lands a bomb on this Russian girl. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's a little Tasmanian devil with the with the punches. Definitely, definitely, she is, man. Um, so here's the thing: her trainer is her mother. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay, here it is, man. Father and son combinations are very, a very common place in the sweet science, but mother daughter, not so much. Uh, Makai Krebs. You know, while her Olympic odyssey ended in disappointment, she was ready to become the latest female boxer to make a splash in the professional ranks, which she is doing right now. Her mother was a fighter, and uh, she was just around the gym at a very young age. So her mother, Deborah Fields Kreps, was around 30 years of age when she put on her first pair of gloves. A career nurse, she looked uh, to boxing as a means to get in shape. Time out, time out. She was 30 years old before she started? Her mother. Her mother. Her mom was thirty. Yes, this girl's oh, only twenty-five. Okay? Oh yes, that's right. You did say. So that. her mother, her mother was thirty years when she put on her first pair of gloves. A career nurse, she looked to boxing as a means to just stay in shape, right? Like most women do, and then they get bit by that bug. Uh, instead, it turned into a natural desire, once uh, which led to the nickname, her alias, the Knockout Nurse Kreps, to three Golden Glove titles three Empire State Games championships, and then inspiring her daughter along her journey to box herself. However, if you think that is where the pugilism started in this family, think again. Boxing has been in the family blood for generations. Uh, however, her, her grandfather, Frankie Egan, was a pro fighter, and in a six-year career spanning from 1933 to 1939, the welterweight posted a record of 39 and five with six knockouts. Egan also fought uh, Remo Fernandez three times. Fernandez eventually went on to fight then undefeated future world champion Ezra Charles, uh, losing a six-round unanimous decision back in April of 1940. 
Um, whoa, and he just cuts out. <laughs> um, anyways, let me continue on with uh, Makaya Krebs here. As I, as I was saying before, um, she definitely likes to mix it up. She likes to stay in the center of the ring. She does have good good boxing skills. You know, you don't make you don't make your 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 national team, um, you know, just by accident. She was on Team USA. She competed at the at the world level, at the international level, um, and she did well. I don't know about the exact results. That's what my man Mike is for to to to, to bring the stats. Um, but yeah, Makai Krebs, very good, uh, very good boxer. Three and zero right now, um, so undefeated. I'm not sure when her next scheduled uh, match is, um, but yeah, man, she's looking good so far. Yeah, it looks like his computer must have died, but it's all right though. That's so what I'm here to pick up, pick up the, uh, to pick it up where where we kind of left off. But anyways, like I said, Makaya Krebs, um, the I forget what he what he said her, her nickname was the nightmare, the nightmare nurse was it? Makaya the nightmare nurse Krebs maybe. Anyways, um, yeah man, if you haven't seen her fight yet, you definitely will. Uh, you know, definitely will not. She would not put you to sleep. She's action packed. Um, always looking to bring the hard punches. And yeah, there you have it. Every day at four, my boy Mike Gore and myself bringing you the new, new and upcoming. Oh, he is back. He is back. He is back. Yo, sorry guys, sorry. I just had technical difficulties. My laptop just died all of a sudden. I guess, I guess this girl's a hot topic, man. My computer couldn't yeah. handle it. <laughs> yes, Cedric, you 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 handled it very very well. I could still listen and hear you that you were you were <laughs> popping it up here. But yes, where were we when I when I when I left off here? Oh, her mother. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, man, mother daughter combinations are not one of those those big things, man. Uh, yeah, I've so never. I'm, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's maybe happened before, but um, this, this that would be crazy if they if they could work their way up to uh, to a world championship and be uh, the first. I mean, like I said, it might not be the first, but if her, her the mother, her mother retired, never went pro. Okay, her mother retired, never went pro. No, but uh, I'm just saying, just in general, having a mother train their daughter yeah. to a, a world championship, I don't know and if that's it, ever happened. I don't think it has ever happened. Um, you know, uh, Makaya, the youngest man, uh, she was five when she first joined her mom at the gym. She was nine when she first climbed through the ropes to fight and beat another girl. Um, she was like a little bull coming forward, uh, you know, and there's tape of this, man, but it's all on VHS. And you know it's a uh, it's it's one of those things where they're afraid to put it out there for people to see because they're afraid it's going to get eaten up, man. Um, you know it was common for back in the day for you know women to bring their kids to the gym, and and you know she's an exception. She's one of these girls. You know Fields eventually walked away from the sport rather than turning pro uh, to end her fighting career, and uh, you know she never really suffered too many too many bad injuries, man. A knee injury she suffered at work, uh, and then. The split with her husband kind of, you know, made it all stop. But they were lured back into the sport in 2010 when Stacy Robinson, a fellow former fighter at Cassell Boxing Club, who had been in Krebs Corner for her first fight as a little girl, opened his own gym and asked them to help. Fields assisted on a volunteer basis, and Krebs led a women's exercise class. It wasn't long until Krebs was back in training at Cassell's, and in 2014, Krebs won the Golden Gloves National Championship in the youth division at 141. But soon after, uh, she left Cassell's to test other gyms in the area. Eventually, Fields uh, chose to become her daughter's coach. They began traveling nationally. They hired a professional ta uh, trainer. Uh, she is, you know, a key to practice anytime at Gonzalez Boxing Gym Club in Niagara Falls. And, uh, you know, She's looking, she's looking to make a statement, man. So be on the lookout. 118 pounds, man. This girl, she comes from a you know, a pedigree of boxers in their family. She's trained by her mom. First time I've ever seen that. If this girl ends up with a championship, it'll be great. She's definitely a force to be reckoned with at the 118, man. She's been doing this stuff. She's been around it since she was five. She's been doing it since she was nine. You know, she's a bronze medalist in youth world championships. She's got national golden gloves. She, you know, she's experienced in the amateur game. She's got her mom behind her. She's got her dad. Her dad was a competitor in strongman competitions and lost to a boxer. And his wife convinced him that he needed to learn the science of boxing to become better. So they both started boxing, husband and wife. And then they have their kid who 
eventually becomes a boxer. Now, guys, be on the lookout for this girl, man. Makaya Preps, this girl, she's going to be a force in the 118-pound division, man. She's a banger. She definitely is going to be wearing a belt, man. You heard it here. Mike Orr and Cedric at four on Knuckle Up. You know what it is. Bring you the hot, young, undefeated, undiscovered prospects, man, for you guys to keep following. We're the only channel doing it every day of the week at four. So until next time, Cedric, let's uh, – Let's sign off. Let me do. Does she have her next scheduled fight yet? Not scheduled yet. She did fight about four weeks ago, so I'm sure we'll see her a couple more times before the year is up. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, all right, yeah, man. There you have it. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We're here every day at four o'clock. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And if you haven't yet, Hit up talkingfight.com, hit that subscribe, buy that membership, get your chance to some exclusive content. And make sure you join us tonight, 7 o'clock Friday night panel. We'll be discussing the fights for the upcoming weekend and who to watch and what to look for. We'll see you at 7 on this channel, and we'll see you next time. Knuckle up. Peace, peace, peace. Damn, Eric. Right. <laughs>